today we're gonna ask the question, what is the best vlogging setup for you? Hey, bud. We're vlogging. Look at us, we left the house today. Look it. <laughs> We're gonna get some water filled up. We're gonna get some munchies. It's a work day, because Tina's got art, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I got lots of editing to do, because I gotta get caught up on these vlogs that I'm not editing. Mm -hmm. So vlog, check this out. We were at Bach Barn today and well we got sick of going to bulk barn constantly to get new peanut butter all the time we're constantly going back like once two times a week to get more peanut butter so we just bought a whole jug of peanut butter we're pumped about it <laughs> ingredients peanuts Woo. the reveal oh my god going in oh my god Put in the fridge, this is gonna last us a while, I think, you know, at least a week. Today, we're gonna ask the question what is the best vlogging setup for you? The big DSLR with a big external mic and a heavy duty tripod. Or are you going to take the mirrorless route with a decently sized tripod? Or are you going to customize your smartphone with accessories that turn it into a more powerful vlogging rig? So I'm actually going to kick this off with the mirrorless setup because this is the new camera that me and Tina just purchased. It is a Canon EOS M6 and it's pretty lightweight considering what it's capable of. Alright, so this camera rocks some interchangeable lenses. to. Get the lens going, you just flick this, pull it out, boom. You got zoom lens, and it's interchangeable, so you could take out this lens and try some different lenses. My, one of my favorite features is this flip up screen, so you can see exactly what you're doing, which I cannot see currently on my cell phone. And I also have this little Edutige mic. It's a pretty similar quality to these bigger mics, but just in a smaller package, which I really appreciate. It also feels and looks professional. So when Tina and I decided we wanted to buy a new camera, we wanted to make sure that it had the capability of customizing settings, of doing everything that a big DSLR camera can do, but in a smaller package. So we were looking at point and shoot cameras, but it wasn't quite good enough for us because we wanted to have the interchangeable lenses. We also wanted to have the mirrorless technology. This is just the technology in this camera. You know, a lot of people are saying mirrorless is the future. We got this Joby Gorilla Pod. I'm not sure I would suggest these tripods to anybody because as you could tell, I've not had it for long and I'm already it already requires tape just to keep it up. Okay, so now I'm recording on the Canon EOS M6, the mirrorless camera, and I'm gonna use this camera to finish the rest of this vlog, review, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, but this is now our main camera, the daily driver as they call it, beautiful zoom capabilities, just compact, fun to, to spin around in, great camera. Now, this is what you would probably see most vloggers using, right? They've got the big DSLR camera, huge lens, they probably even have a, a bigger mic than this, and they also have a big heavy duty tripod. Now, imagine you're seeing me out here vlogging with this contraption, you're gonna say, wow, that is pretty big and obnoxious, and I would have to agree. If you're vlogging, if you're taking your camera out and filming your adventures, your day, whatever it is, this setup might be a little much, because just because of the weight and the size of it, you're not gonna be able to keep this conspicuous. You're not going to be able to keep this on the down low. I mean, sure, it'll, maybe you'll look cool. Maybe you'll look professional. And in my opinion, you're really not going to get much better picture with a big DSLR camera like this than you are with a smaller mirrorless camera. The technology is just there now where we get a good enough picture on a mirrorless camera, a smaller camera. We don't need these big guys anymore. So if you're vlogging, this might be totally overkill. And this tripod's heavy. Everything about it is just like it feels heavy duty, it feels strong, it feels good, 
but at the same time, it's a little much. Now finally, I want to talk about the vlogging rig that I used for pretty much like 200 vlogs. And it's a very simple rig, let me tell you. This is the rig. This is what I use for like 200 vlogs, just a smartphone. It wasn't always this one, this is the Galaxy S8, an amazing smartphone, great camera. I even edited my vlogs on this on a phone for a long time. Um, I didn't use this one always, in fact, a big portion of my vlogs were made on this, the LG G4, it's just a generic smartphone, it was cheap when I bought it, it wasn't nothing special. But then I bought this tripod to go with it, it's just a customizable tripod, I'm not going to get too deep into everything, the names of everything, but I got a microphone, an external mic on there, uh, and an external lens. And this turns into quite the beast of a rig, let me tell you. But after a while, I'll be honest, the, the picture isn't that great. You're not going to get that good of a picture out of a smartphone, I'm sorry. I wish I wanted to say that I could. I tried so much to get amazing cinematic shots out of my phone, and I did. Some I got some great shots, but there's something about a DSLR or a mirrorless camera that just has a whole other level of, of, of beauty to it, and that's why we decided to get an actual camera. Here's one little hack that I will give you if you have nothing else, you don't have a camera, but you just want to start vlogging, maybe using your phone, but you want to up the quality of your phone a little bit. Perhaps you want to get a wide angle lens. Well, you get these clip lenses, they clip on your phone, bada bing, bada boom, like that, right? Or something that I did that I think, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do, was I cut a hole into my phone case so that I could pop the lens in my phone case and just fit it in there and not have to worry. So this is all I did. Cut the hole, the size of the lens right in the back here, pop it in, you hear that snap, and there you go. You've got a wide angle lens right attached to your phone case. So I switch it in right here, boom. And now I've got a crazy powerful vlogging rig and if you're really crazy, I currently have this, I have this gecko um, wallet thing on it with some other smaller lenses in the case because this lens is sometimes huge, it's overkill. Then you stick it on a tripod, man. You get one of these things and you get a tripod and you have a perfectly good vlogging rig. So I don't want you to think that you have to wait to do vlogs until you have a big camera and you have a great setup and you have the best editing software. It's really not worth the wait. I think you need to just start, man. I mean, go back to my channel to my very first vlog and you will see that I, I didn't even know how to hold the camera properly. I held my phone like this and the camera, the video came out um, the wrong orientation basically. And I had these big black bars on the side and I was holding the camera like way down here and I was saying like this and I didn't know what I was doing. But it just goes to show here I am 260 however many vlogs later and I've I've improved a lot. I've learned a lot about making videos, about being on camera, about creating, about about technology and toys is why I'm doing this video for the most part because I love technology, I love cameras, I love phones, I love these microphones, I love cool tripods, I don't know, it's just, it's a fun hobby of mine that I'm having so much fun with and uh, I just wanted to share some of that joy with you guys, the people who watch my vlogs, the people who listen to my music, the people who support me and who have been supporting me. Anyway, that is the end of the video, I hope you guys appreciate, oh wait, which one am I talking about? Okay. That is the end of the vlog. Make sure that you guys go into the description. I'll let you know all the gear that I'm using. Let me know in the comment section below, which is the best vlogging setup for you? Do you like to have the huge setup and you don't mind the weight? You don't mind the, the obnoxiousness of it? Do you prefer the mirrorless route or are you just a pocket cell phone vlogger? Let me know. Peace.